Hey, it's Luke again from Luke's Life, and today, while his big sister's at work, Luke is babysitting one of our very special pets, and he has a special guest here, and his other big sister is joining us too. So Luke, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about your special pet and your special guest? Well, his name is Santino. We're putting Italian music on because he likes listening to it, and... um. He really likes watching TV in, with humans, mm -hmm. or just by himself. Yeah. With if Ange turns the TV show on, mm -hmm. or if we hold him upstairs. What kind of animal is he? He is a bearded dragon, and he's about six months old. Seven months. How much? Somewhere around there. Yeah. Six. Because we, we got him about a month ago, so we're uh, guessing that he's seven months because he was six whenever we got him. Well, I don't know. And what's the special story? Why did we have to take him? It's because somebody drowned him, and then his, he couldn't move his feet, and then we they were taking him for free, and then we adopted him, and then and then we had him as our pet. And is he doing much better now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and they were asking for him back, and we we're like, we paid for that food and stuff, so yeah, we're not giving it back. Plus, I think Beardy loves us. No, uh, it's kind it's kind of like the story of Annie. Nobody wanted her because she had a cherry eye, and oh, there's Annie again. She's like, oh, I'm so pitiful on my bean bag. Oh, my name is Annie. She doesn't have a cherry eye anymore, though. Okay, mm -hmm. here's, here's a close-up of Santino. Very, very handsome guy. <laughs> He'll probably, well, he definitely will be getting bigger. Luke, what kind of stuff does he like to eat? He really likes greens. He likes, um, he likes dandelion roots, and he really likes, um, cilantro, cilantro. Um, and dubia roaches. And uh, sometimes crickets, but mostly uh, veggies because he's older. Yeah, things like collard greens, um, turnip greens. Uh, and once in a while, he actually, do you know what kind of fruit he likes the best? Mm, I do not know. He loves little tiny pieces of plum. That's only a special treat. You shouldn't give bearded dragons fruit all the time. Mm -hmm. Is and, he nice and warm? Mm -hmm. If you touch under his belly, it's even warmer. Because when he breathes, it, it just makes his belly warm somehow. Mm -hmm. How can you um, tell if a bearded dragon is having anxiety or getting stressed out? Um, if he's like, he like looks kind of scared. Yeah, but there's something that happens under his neck. Lizzie, do you want to tell us? Their beard can puff out, turn black. Sometimes it turns black all the way. That's whenever they're like really mad. Um, or they can just like run all over the place. And like, it, there's a difference between like them playing and running around. And like, whenever you, you can see it in their eyes, like they're running around, like they don't know where to go. That's whenever they're scared. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's Rudy in the back. Mm -hmm. So is he angry, Lizzie? Or is he happy? He's fine right now. Yeah, right now he's listening to you. And what do we know? Like, when he sticks out his tongue, what is he really doing? Is he trying to lick you because he thinks you taste good? Or what is he doing? It's it's kind of like a greeting. Like, yeah, it's also... He like, it, it means... That he likes you. Mm -hmm. I was just going to say. And what else? That's, yeah. how, that's how he gets to know you, right? Mm-hmm. And, and it's also a kiss. Yeah. And he gets your, your scent. So it's like under here, if you start seeing it turn black, that means he'd be too stressed out. Now, Luke, is he sharp when you touch these little spikes? No. No. He's actually kind of soft. Mm-hmm. I know. It's not good to touch the top of their head because they have, like, little sensors that let them know where they are. That's why he kind of closes his eyes. He's like, please don't touch because my head. Because if there's a hawk. If and it's hawk. good for whenever you handle a bearded dragon to not... Grab them from above like, because again, the like sensors that can uh, uh, throw them off. So it's good uh, like, what to, is that controller? to put their hand, your hand, like uh, right below their neck and uh, um, in front of their front legs, and pick them up that way, and then take the other hand uh, in the back of their back legs and pick them up that way. 
Okay, so I'm glad everybody got to meet Santino today. Sometimes we call him Tino. Um, Luke's biggest sister, Angelina, also has two other geckos. Um, well, they're both lizards, but not fear dragons. They're geckos um, that we'll be able to meet in another video. So everybody say goodbye. Okay, goodbye. Wait, okay, we're going to do this line together. Okay, three, two, one. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn notifications on and subscribe. Bye.